One thing we learned after the Canadian Grand Prix 2023 is that Mercedes has a slow speed corner issue. Let's discuss in a bit more detail what that actually is. The Canadian track is a special one because it basically consists of long straights and slow speed corners. So you have hard braking and high speeds. But when you are cornering, you are relatively slow. So what's the difference between a slow speed corner and a high speed corner? Of course, as the name states, the speed. But the slip angle with which the rear tires drive through the corner is very different too. Because on slow speed corners, you are slow and hence the slip angle is less. Additionally, a corner is slow because its radius is tight. That means that the radius of the oncoming airflow is also tighter. Because remember that air doesn't flow in a straight line across a car in a corner. It's a so-called curved domain. And by the way, that's one of the issues with wind tunnel correlation, because a wind tunnel always just has straight flow. So in a slow corner, we have less slip angle and a smaller radius of the oncoming flow. And another interesting effect is that in high speed corners, because of the higher slip angle, the flow can even come from the other side for the rear wing. So if a car performs badly in slow corners, it's usually a suspension issue rather than an aerodynamic issue, because at low speeds, there is less aerodynamic effect. There might be too much camber, for example, and not the whole width of the tire is used. But in F1, aerodynamics also play a big role in slow speed corners, because being F1, a slow speed corner is still relatively fast with more than 100 km per hour. And there are significant aerodynamic effects. So if we look at Red Bull and Aston Martin, they have large downwashing side pods, keeping the front wheel wake outboard in such a corner and dragging clean air down. The Aston even uses extreme water slides which grab and guide the flow, even on the outboard side. So it can reach the important areas at the back. Mercedes now also started with the downwash concept since their last update, but they are still a few steps behind the other two. Because the next step is, while using a downwash concept, you want to add clean air from your undercut area. That is something that Red Bull is doing quite extensively since last year already, and Aston Martin since this year. Even more so since the update for the last weekend. So with this additional clean air, you can use a kind of air scarf around the side pod, which brings more clean air to the back for more downforce, but you can also better keep the dirty front rear wake outboard. And while we are talking about this, because of the rain at the Canadian weekend, we could see that the large downwashing side pods on the Mercedes work much better than their previous version. They keep the front rear wake nicely outside and, not surprisingly, their performance is much better now. But back to the topic. The other thing is that your downwash area might be weakened during slow speed corners by structure in the center of the car. And the undercut area, even on the outboard side, could still work. So the powerful clean flow of the undercut area can still provide lots of clean air for this extra bit of downforce. And that is something Mercedes is not doing yet. In fact, if we look at their car, we can clearly see how they concentrated on the top surface for good downwash. Also, their leading edge is above and the cooling inlet is below. At Red Bull and Aston Martin, that's the other way around. Because the flow above the side mirrors is very clean. It didn't have any disturbance yet. So you can always pull large, clean amounts down to the back. But the undercut area is kind of limited and Red Bull and Aston try to make the most out of it. The leading edge is lower, the outlet takes air from above and everything below the leading edge gets as much space as possible and is treated as gently as possible to lose as little energy on the way to the back as possible. And that is helping them to get this little extra in downforce, even in tight slow speed corners. Mercedes didn't want to fully copy Red Bull, but it looks like we could see a stronger undercut of the Mercedes in the future as well. The others also make way for the undercut flow, something that Mercedes doesn't. And Mercedes still has their cooling louvres in the important downwash area. So the clean flow of the back is mixed with low energy hot radiator flow. Mercedes will work hard on the issue and we can be excited to see which new updates they will bring. 
If you want to know how to design F1 bodyworks like these ones, check out my online course with the link below and see you at the next video.